Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> what up, baby? I told you I was gonna post some videos. I'm trying to give y'all what y'all want, what you need. I posted a lot today. But anyway, the topic of today is skills. Motorcycle skills. That is a nice Mustang. I like that. I like his style. Come on. Scratch my face. Go ahead, man. But, um, there's a difference between a biker and someone who has a bike. <laughs> Now look, I'm not, I'm not trying to be a jerk, but I'm being serious. Now, we all know there are some people who barely ride for, for one reason or another. Not, you know, some guys don't ride because they're honestly just too busy. And they can't ride to work because they got to bring stuff. Um, they just had a newborn baby. I mean, anything. Their life circumstance just doesn't permit them to ride as much as they want to. There are other guys who got injured, you know, they can't ride like they want to without being in pain. I mean, there are all different types of circumstances, but we're not talking about those guys right now. We're talking about the guys who just don't have that biker in them yet. What I mean by biker in them, I mean a biker, man. A biker is going to ride and ride and ride whenever they can. You know, they just love riding so much. You know, it's just in them. Nice sunny day. It's the first thing on their mind, I'm riding my bike. Now, someone who just has a bike, they might be like, eh, I feel like riding today. I don't feel like putting my stuff on. It's kind of nippy outside. It's only about 70 degrees. <laughs> you know, it's just, they don't, they haven't caught the spirit of the ride. A lot of people like that I've noticed are the ones that catch bike fever. When you catch bike fever, you're not thinking about motorcycles, you know, during the winter time, you care less about it, blah, blah, blah. You know, and then summertime comes and you start hearing that, you start hearing guys, zoom, zoom, and all of a sudden, oh man. I think I want a motorcycle. And then one of your buddies gets a motorcycle. Oh, now you gotta get one. You probably weren't even thinking about what then your buddy got one. Now you gotta get one. And, and there's nothing wrong with that. But if you lack a passion for riding, and you probably only go out when your buddies ride, and you probably just, you know, ride short distances and never really get any seat time you are not growing your love what up man you all right okay get you um you're not growing your love and passion for riding because you're barely doing it you know and that's you're not you're not a biker you're somebody who has a bike and i can totally tell the difference when i'm talking to people about it you know it's kind of like eh. I have my bike for six years, only got about 3,000 miles on it. What? <laughs> to a real biker, if you tell somebody that you only got 6,000 miles on your bike, your bike is 10 years or even three, even three years old, they're looking like, oh, unless you got three other bikes you've been putting miles on, you're probably not a biker. I mean, when I got this bike used, I don't know what the owner was doing, but I bought it in, 2000 okay something going on here 2012 no i bought it in uh 2013 and this is a 07 so it was six years old and it all didn't even have 9,000 miles on it maybe he had another bike i don't know if this was his only bike he wasn't riding it because since i've had it in 2013 this is 2014 I've already put 10,000 miles on it. So I put more miles on this bike two years than the previous owner did in six years. You know, for us riders, we're going to ride 
Do you want it's a little bit cold? I have. I can't. I can't say I. I ride in every type of weather when it gets just in the 40s or low 50s. I, I can't. It's not enjoyable. I will do it, but it's really not enjoyable. There's some people. It's hard to get them out in the 60s. You ain't gonna get them out pretty much till about mid high 70s. And what a lot of people don't understand is you won't truly enjoy riding to the fullest extent until you get good at it. You know, you might enjoy it right now, but think about when you get good. I loved riding when I first started. Now I really love it because I know what I'm doing. So you, you might have had your bike for six years, but your skill level is still probably at two years because you don't ride it. So, I mean, I don't count my skill level as far as years of riding. Usually, when I think to myself, I think about how many miles I put in. You gotta get some saddle time, man. Going out there and do it. Get caught in the rain, you know. Go riding when it's cold out. I mean, get the full experience to teach yourself how to be a biker. So then, when the bad times come, you're like, whatever, please. I done been through all that. But you can't be a... Can't be a timid biker too afraid at all. It might it's a ten percent chance it might rain. I don't want to. <laughs> so what? If it's at ten percent, I'm going out. If it says twenty percent, I'm going out. Sometimes it's say like thirty percent, I'm going out. I don't. I've been caught in the rain so much. I don't even care. Cause look, you only you can only get so wet. Yeah, it's not comfortable, but man, I love riding that much. I'll do. I don't look for it. Obviously, I don't prefer it. Obviously, but I ain't scared of it. And that's why I gotta give credit to the uh, Harley riders. The Harley riders, them suckers, they go ride rain, sleet, or snow. Granted, their rides are more comfortable, but. Traffic is weird right now. Ooh, some weird things on the road. But, uh. Harley riders, man, they don't stop. They do it all the way. I respect that. I'm going to split this up into a part two so I can load it a lot quicker so you guys ain't got to wait for my video. So I'm going to cut it out right now.